exciting. It's to, to be able to see what these people look like. You know, we have drawings, we have paintings, we have sculptures, but we don't have an actual image of what they looked like. And so being able to analyze their DNA and pull that out, I mean, of course, it's not going to be perfect. It's not intended to be. DNA from an ancient culture to people who live in that area today and in other areas we can learn about how people migrated, what sort of lives they lived, who came from where, who interbred with whom. I mean, it's, it's really fascinating the amount of information they're, allowed, they're able to learn, whereas before we could only sort of interpret from the bones, from the pottery that was found. Mm -hmm.